Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. What? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> okay. Fourth day. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. The fourth night in. Okay, we'll start at the start. <sighs> Calm down. Um, fourth night in. Fourth night. <laughs> fourth night in. We sit down. We do our... Before we did our breathing exercises, we did two things. I did two things. The other girls did one thing. Um, we started off by doing a psyche balance around the installing the belief I am competent at extraocular vision. Just that. I'm competent at extraocular vision. And we installed that as a new belief within our subconscious framework. So uh, the beginning patterns of a neural framework to support our project was already preliminary laid out. And um, then I thought, well, bugger it. Even though I have done the couple of unifying brain exercises before that, I thought I would... Um, bring a bit more play into it. So I did some um, cross crawls, you know, tapping from knee to knee with your hands, and I was doing a little bit of a dance at the same time and making myself laugh a little bit to relieve some pressure on myself. And then I sat down with a blanket on my lap so the phone didn't fall through my legs. We're using a phone because, you know, we don't want to print out things or go to books because that might be suggestive of including clues. Like if I hear her go to a bookshelf, then I know vaguely where the books are. And if I feel the book and feel the size of it by putting my hand on it, I'll be able to tell vaguely which book it might be based on the size or the thick or the texture of the paper, whether it's glossy paper or paper paper, et cetera. It's all, all of these things we're trying to avoid by filtering these things out. So just phone, search, image, download an image on respective phones so the other person can't see it beforehand. So um, Sherry puts my phone puts her phone in my lap and lowers my hands on top of the phone. Now I was holding my Reiki crystal, which has been shown within the tests of the original research exploration done by Jacobo Greenberg that uh, there was some kids who picked up things a lot quicker while holding a piece of quartz. There was one girl who used to tap her third eye with it as well, just intuitively, you know, some little, Schoolgirl, cute little schoolgirl was like, oh yeah, now I can see. So she puts the phone down, by the way, the image. Yeah, I'm actually gonna wait until the end to talk about the image, <laughs> to show you the image. <sighs> okay, so start off by getting an image and I'm like mm, looks like blue sky green grass and I'm like I'm not even ready yet like I've just lowered my hands I barely even started to breathe in and I'm like don't worry about that just focus on calming yourself trying to find things and I started to see some things I started to see some shapes and some lines that look like long little like stalks of uh wheat or something like that and then it kind of looked like uh, that faded away and then i kind of saw i think it was a um white a lot of white that i said uh later on i clarified that what i meant by white was like bright colors like it could have been blue sky but bright blue sky almost white blue sky uh, could be sand except with a glint of light on it you know how sand gets that whitey look to it yellow sand gets that whitey look when the sun is bouncing off of it right um, so I'm like looking at it going oh, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know and then I get this triangle I, uh, I don't know kind of get these uh, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to identify things because the first three ones, I'm still yet to do my report on the third one, by the way, which will come after I finish this video. The third one, 
second one and the first one were hard to stop my associative memory trying to construct the answer for me as soon as it received any information. As soon as it received any information, my subconscious was going <laughs> and offering me lots of different things. It looks like this. It looks like that. It could be this. It could be that. I'm going, no, calm down. So that's why I was a little bit cautious at the start instead of just going, it looks like blue sky and green grass. No, I was like, calm down, chill out, get in touch. Started looking at different pieces and bits and pieces. Took a little while. The phone that she was using went on to screen lock a total of four times. So each time uh, I had my hands and she would go, oh, hang on, the screen's gone off, and she would reach down, reactivate the screen and go, okay, it's back on again. Each time she did that, I felt like I was getting a new vision, right? Um, and each time I did, it was like straight lines, it was like uh, points and like the edge of something like like this, you know, coming down like this and I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't know, like I'm getting like lots of lines and things, but like, I don't know, and then um, I was just really trying not to make any assumptions, just trying to let my mind go. I'm sitting there thinking to myself things like, just breathe, just focus. Like, don't, I mean, don't focus on anything in particular. Just focus on what you're trying to um, not let your mind do. You know, trying to get it to seek new information without going into old frames. So I'm focusing on that. I'm not focusing on what the image is beneath my hands. The fourth time that it came back on, I think it was the third time, that I'm looking at it going, I definitely get like, like a crisscross or something, uh, uh, maybe some like uh, angled lines. And then um, the phone goes off again and I'm like thinking to myself, all right, this is good. If it comes back on and I don't get any new information, then I'll call it and that'll be it. So I'm like, phone comes back on and I'm, I'm looking at it again going, yeah, I still got this, like, except it's more like a sandy, yellowy color. I think there's a blue sky. You know what? Fuck it. I've got nothing else. So I'm going to go with the pyramid. I open my eyes. And I'm sure you can guess, lo and behold. That was the image, okay? Yeah, that's a really good camera. There we go. That was the image. That was the angle that I saw. Clear as day. Absolute clear as day. The one going around the side was a lot brighter than the one at the front. And I did think of pyramid at that point. But again, the whole time I'm there going, don't make assumptions. Don't feed your mind concepts. Just look at the shapes. Look at the colors. Look at the flavors and I'm like can I smell anything can I feel anything you know trying to explore all these different parts exploring all these different parts of my mind well yeah I, I fucking leaped out of my chair and I'm like what no fucking what <laughs> yeah yeah fourth day and I was the first up so then there was three of us that were doing it. So then the youngest um, girl goes next, seven years old. And Cherie had chosen the photo for her at the same time she chose my photo. And she lays down the phone in the little girl's lap. I don't know if I'm allowed to say her name or not. The little girl's lap. And uh, lo and behold, it's blue sky, green it's a road and a rainbow. And I'm like, that was the first thing I saw. I didn't have time to focus on it. I didn't see the rainbow. The road was only there once you really looked at the image. It wasn't like there's a road and it was, there just was a road there. It wasn't the focus. The green was the focus. The blue was the focus and the rainbow was the focus. I was just like, what? I saw hers first and then I saw mine? What? So I was 
detecting within the thought field that Sheree was predict, uh, projecting, I was picking up on and receiving, even though I would never saw that image while I had my eyes closed. And then I went, no, 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 I need to focus on this one, focus on this, just focus on the not letting my mind make assumptions. And I still got mine right. So the little girl has her go, and halfway through it, her first guess was, um, a sparrow on a branch, like a you know, twig with a sparrow, and that's kind of the middle of the photo there. But yeah, that's a whatever. <laughs> um, and we're sitting there going, okay, almost like nature, trees, and then the phone goes off and it comes back on again. She turns back on for the little girl, and the little girl goes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I see. And Sheree politely gives her a couple of prompts, innocent open prompts. Well, what do you see? Like, what, do you see any colours? What do you see? And she goes, oh, I see a blue sky and lots of trees that go off into the distance. Uh, and I see a bunny rabbit and a kangaroo and a baby bunny rabbit. And, um, and we were just like, what? Like, I mean, I mean, she's when you're doing this, you're doing it over a phone, so your hands are there going like this over the phone. The people watching you are watching where your hands are going, even though you're not touching the phone. You're holding them this far above the we are holding them this far above the phone, so we don't touch the touch screen. And she got pretty much all of it. What? So Shree jumps in after a bit of a celebration the second time round and goes, well, I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> and guess what? She got it too. She fucking guessed it too. She had no idea that she was guessing it. I had no idea that I was guessing it. The look on my face, they said, when I was guessing it was complete disbelief. Of course, because I'm looking at my mind going, oh, it looks like this, but I don't know if it is. Like, I'm just getting this image in my mind. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if it's accurate. It's just kind of like... And then you open your eyes and you're like, what the fuck? It's real. I saw it. The best part about it is that because of the way that we're doing it, I predicted, based on my awareness of how the subconscious works and brain patterns happen, that the way that we would be doing it would be the most profitable for self-growth in terms of subconscious control of the features that we couldn't even consciously predict, like how the brain orders itself and patterns out the neural pathways for all of this sort of stuff. But I knew the feedback from the outside was not going to be the way to do it because we needed to explore this space in our mind, make mistakes, get it right, make mistakes, get some right, make mistakes, and get some right, get some right, get some right, until we got it right. Now that we did get it right, the spike of fucking dopamine and shit, wow, that cementing it in even further. Just grinding around the track there. Look, I can't fucking wait for tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Pyramids kick ass. Just gonna say it. Huzzah.